Hi, my name is Friday. Welcome back to my channel. Let's get started on some crafts. The first craft, we're, we're going to need these eggs, these spoons, which you find in the wedding section, and some moths and chalk paint. The first thing I'm going to do is paint my eggs and my spoons. So we're just going to grab an egg, and what I like to do is throw a toothpick in between my shish kebab stick to hold my egg firmly. So when I paint it, it isn't going to spin around on me. I'm just going to take some chalk paint. Whoops, I just paint. I'm going to end up giving this a couple coats. And same thing with my spoons. I'm only going to be using the top of my spoons for bunny ears, but I don't want to snap them off because this makes a great handle. And again, I'll be giving my spoons two coats and let them dry. Okay, I decided why my chalk paint is drying. I'm going to make me a quick couple of decoupage eggs. So I'm using these napkins from the Dollar Tree. So I cut me a square, and I'm only going to decoupage half of it right now. And it just makes it easier. If you want to paint your eggs first white, the colors will be more vibrant. I'm going to have a purple undertone to this one, where the white is will, will look more purple. And so what I'm going to do is try to find me a pretty pattern. I like that. I like that one too. So I'm just going to throw that on there. And I like to take a piece of saran wrap. Just press it on the glue. Did not mean to get that. Now I'm going to trim my excess paper. Make sure I have enough for the egg down. Open it back up and throw some more Mod Podge on there. This is going to be my back side, you're not going to see it, so I don't really care if the paper is too much on the back, not perfect. Again, back to my saran wrap. We'll let those dry on my egg dries. If you want to put another coat of Mod Podge on there to protect it, you can. I'm not. I actually like it without the Mod Podge on the outside better. Okay, let everything dry. Okay, so now my eggs are dry. You can see that I didn't paint my eggs white. This was a purple egg, pink egg, and blue egg. And I just like, really like how they came out. And I just used one of these leaves from my wildflowers. So now let's make the bunny eggs. So my eggs are dry and my spoons are dry. I'm just going to snap these off. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to put some moss on the top of this and then I will attach my eggs. Here's bunny ears. Now normally you'd want to put your ears on first, but I'm not really sure where my ears are going to go yet, so put it like right there. And this is going to need a lot of hot glue. Just 
hold it there until it dries. And then using these wild flowers, I just cut off some flowers. And I also cut off part of the nugs. So when I put it on, it's not going to raise so high. Ouch. decorate the top. They came out so cute. This came out really cute. And there you go. On to the next craft. Here's the finished project. I thought it looked really cute next to my Bunny Kisses and Easter Wishes sign. For this craft, we are making a Scandinavian Easter branch twig. I cannot pronounce the name, so I'm not even going to attempt it. So the first thing you want to do is grab some branches and a jar vase bottle. I'm using this cappuccino bottle. Remember when choosing it out that the wider mouth, the more your branches will fall. So this one works perfect. You can decorate it. You can paint it. I am just going to use this yarn and put it around here. I only had white yarn. So all I did was fill a bowl with some yellow food coloring and soaked my yarn in there and let it dry. Um, so I'm going to glue this and stick my branches in here and I'll be back to show you how you make your feathers because that is one of the thing they like to do is put feathers on their branches. So I'll be back. So if you don't have feathers, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make them. You can use cardstock paper, copy paper, whatever paper you want. The thinner the paper, the more realistic the feather is. So just fold your paper in half. And since I just I want to make some little flowers. I'm just going to chop mine down. And you can just cut out a feather shape. This one, let me start back here. Make a little quill at the end. And then just start snipping up to the edge. You want some of your quill in there, so it won't just flap all around. And the tighter your lines are, snips, I guess, the more realistic you'll get. And I love these curved scissors. It's perfect for this craft. Now, if you're just going to use copy paper, you can embellish it first. Um, 
throw some watercolors on there or sharpies, maybe some designs or pattern card stuff will probably look pretty. Depends on the design of your Easter branch, I guess. I am using the washi paper, Japanese paper. So there, this the other this one I attempted to make out of cardstock on my Cricut. Um, and then yeah, I can't paint. So show you one more time. And the wider it is, the wider it gets, so you can cut it to really small. So hot glue these on your branches and I'll be back when I'm done. So I finally finished it. All my feathers are hot glued on. I even added this cute little bird and a few yellow and white eggs. And I thought it'd be perfect with these eggs I made on my last video. So this will be my centerpiece for my Easter brunch. Stay safe, y'all. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.